नमस्कार दोस्तों एंड वेलकम वील गेट स्ट्रेट टू द पॉइंट यू If you look at Wi-Fi performance, slow speeds is one of the biggest issues that people face today. Wi-Fi में सबसे बड़ा problem है slow speeds. But there are also number of ways to check what is causing these performance issues, and many of them have some very easy solutions. But पहले, before we even get into how we can fix slow speeds, we need to understand if slow speeds from the Wi-Fi access point is actually the problem here. कई बार Wi-Fi AP में problem नहीं है पर कुछ और में होता है. So let's start with client device limitations. Sometimes the issue is actually with the client device that we have. When testing Wi-Fi speeds, it's very important to test across many different client devices. So, the client device's Wi-Fi chip is actually not the problem here. To measure the true max throughput, you need to use a client device with capabilities that match the capabilities of your Wi-Fi access point. कई कई पुराने प्रोडक्ट्स में कई पुराने फोन्स में जो भी वाईफाई चिप होती है they don't actually support the max throughput of your access point for example the apple iphone 7 has a 2 by 2 mimo antenna for the 5 gigahertz stream while the uap ac pro from unify has a 3 by 3 5 gigahertz radio so this means that the iphone will actually limit the peak throughput possible from the access point and some older client devices don't even support 5 gigahertz if your mobile phone or computer only supports 2.4 gigahertz you will expect to get much slower speeds compared to a device that actually supports the 5 gigahertz stream as well so let if we go to wifi here and we see what wifi devices unify has to offer we'll see that all these wifi devices actually support both 2.4 as well as 5 gigahertz and many of these latest devices here like the uh, flex hd the inwall hd the hd they all also have 4 by 4 mimo as we can see in this table out here so you also want to make sure that you're using a device that can match the capabilities of your access point next let's talk about internet speed tests results from internet speed tests can vary a lot and are often inaccurate so it's good to test your speed tests with multiple devices across multiple speed test platforms ubiquiti has its own speed test uh, speed.ui.com pe ja ke aap test run kar sakte ho like this And if you're on your phone, you can also download the Wi-Fi Man app, which is Ubiquiti's app for Wi-Fi analysis and also speed tests. We still recommend using multiple speed tests and testing across different uh, types of speed test platforms, and especially comparing between devices. But making sure you're consistent across which speed tests you use and which devices you're comparing with. So now let's move on to ISP limits. You want to check your internet service provider's plan and the speeds that they are offering you. because very often isps and hardware vendor providers market products with peak throughput which are much higher than the real life usage so you want to make sure and go to your isp plan and see what you're paying for and whether those are the speeds that you are expecting or you're expecting something better so if you already run different speed tests and checked your isp plan and tested speeds with different client devices and you're still confident that wifi is the problem here let's talk about some of the other things you can be checking out First let's eliminate bottlenecks. What are bottlenecks? Sometimes the problem that you face here is actually not only in your um, Wi-Fi device but actually there are other things in the network which might be causing the problems. For example, uh maybe you don't have enough access points. There are too few access points for the number of clients that you have. Har Wi-Fi signal ki coverage mein limit hoti hai aur bade jagah mein adhik AP ki zarurat hoti hai. a lot of physical interference like doors and walls between the ap and the client khas taur mein india mein concrete ya brick ki diwari wifi signal ko bahut prabhavit karti hai outdated lan or wireless hardware ya purane switch ya router these can all completely affect the entire system so you want to make sure you have more recent and not outdated lan and you want to make sure that your ethernet cables aren't old cables so for example ubiquity if you go to ubiquity's india store you actually do have uh, a bunch of ethernet cables here that we offer uh, when you look at the length and you look at different colors so this is one good place where you can actually get the the cables that we recommend but of course any third party cables will also work with your devices but you want to make sure that these cables are newer cables and not old cables that could be affecting your wifi performance so when planning a network you also want to make sure that the whole plan of your network is good and we recommend you use unify's design center or design dot a design dot ui dot com. You will need to log in with your uh, Ubiquiti email address. 
and your Ubiquiti account. But once you're in there, it's a completely free platform to use. And you can actually use this tool to um, get an idea of what kind of network you need and you want to set up. So out here, for example, you can upload your floor plan. You can go here and upload your floor plan. You can also kind of change different parts about your thing. For example, if you want to add different walls, add karna to aap yaha kar sakte ho. Let's see. You can add different, this you can change your ceiling height. Out here, you can change the different kinds of walls you have. So if you want to add, say, a brick wall, and this is a brick wall here, you can definitely add a brick wall. And then you can also add your own devices. So you can add, for example, you want to add an access point. You can do that here. And maybe this is a great way to actually see if you're using enough access point. You can move these access points around. And you can also use a very cool tool called Auto Cable. So this basically will recommend how you actually cable all your access points. And then once you're done kind of setting up what you think should be the network, you can always go and check what your 2.4 and 5 gigahertz coverage will be. And accordingly, you can actually move your entire, uh, your access points around to make sure that you have the best coverage that you want. And if needed, you need to add more access points, then you can always do that again. So definitely recommend checking out design.ui.com to plan your network in the best way. Next, let's talk about updating your firmware. You also want to make sure that you're using the latest version of the controller. So if you go to demo.ui.com and we see the controller, you want to make sure you're using the latest version of the controller and also the latest version of the access points. So let's see how you can upgrade your access points. There are, there are a few ways you can do it. One way is if you actually just go to the devices section in the Unify software controller. So this is the controller from where you can manage everything. And of course, Unify's controller is a completely free software for you to use. And uh, you can say, click on a wireless device and you can just simply upgrade it from here without even going into it. Actually, you can just simply upgrade the device. Right here. And then if you're done with that and you actually want to set up an automatic upgrade, you can even do so in the settings section where you go to settings and then you can go to, um, sorry, you can go to services and then go to scheduled upgrades. And here you can actually, plan your own upgrades. You can schedule an upgrade every month, every two months, every week, and you can select which device you want upgrading on the schedule. So this is actually very useful to make sure your devices have the latest firmware. And in addition to that, you also want to make sure your controller has the latest firmware. That's also very important. So let's see, this firmware of the controller can be seen in the controller section here is 5.11.39. And then you can simply go to uh, downloads.ui.com and once you go to downloads.ui.com, you can make sure what the latest controller is. So if we go here and we go to Unify, you can check what the latest software is here. This is 6.0. And then make sure you have the latest software downloaded. There are actually many ways. You can upgrade your devices, and this is a really good article in our Unify Help Center, which tells you the different ways you can upgrade the firmware of a Unify device. So you wanna make sure you have upgraded devices because this is actually a very important thing. And if the firmware of your devices is very old, then it can definitely have an impact on the speeds that you are seeing. So again, this can be done from the Unify controller. And remember that all the software from Unify is free, which be licensing fees, your software can cost nahi hai. So let's say now you check this and you've still not seeing the speeds that you want. There are some other common issues we'll talk about and other possible issues to check for. So first, let's talk about channel width. So let's go back and talk about channel width. Channel width is actually one of the most common causes for poor speed test result after setting up a Unify access point, especially if you're comparing a Unify device to a standalone router. And why? Because the default Unify device and the default five gigahertz radio in the Unify device is optimized for larger environments. So we have a 40 megahertz channel width as a default. But most of these standalone routers that you get are expected only for kind of a one AP use or a home office use. And those are often set to 80 megahertz channels. So to properly test the AP and the max speed of the Unify AP, you want to switch to an 80 megahertz channel because 80 megahertz channels are capable of almost double the speeds of a 40 megahertz channel. So let's see how we can do this as well. If you go into the demo, which is our controller, this is uh, the Unify controller, and this is what the controller will look like to you as well. If you go into this, uh, we can simply uh, 
very easily click into devices or fill devices may let's let's get there and in devices for each of your wireless devices which are your access points you can change the channel width for both the 2.4 as well as the 5 gigahertz so let's go and click on one access point here and see how that can be done uh, we simply go to configuration click on radios and here for both your 2.4 and your 5 gigahertz radio you can very easily change the channel width so in summary using a small number of aps if you're using the small number of aps switch to a 5 gigahertz channel with say 80 megahertz for greater peak throughput in larger environments note that a 20 or a 40 megahertz channel is also recommended uh, for performance reasons but it may not be giving you the max possible throughput or speeds now next let's talk about interference or channel overlap another big issue which can have a negative impact on your wi-fi performance is called interference or wireless interference the interference can come from external sources like other wireless networks and also internally from devices overlapping with each other on the same channel unified devices are by default set to auto channel assignments but sometimes you may want to adjust this if there are concerns about the speed and the performance that you're seeing but before doing this you want to make sure you do a complete and full site survey you can do this using the unifies wi-fi man app but if you're not able to do a full site survey you can also use the unify controller to help you find better channel assignments by doing an rf scan so if you go into the unify controller and you click on one possible device uh, you can go into tools here and for 2g or 5g you can do an rf scan the scan will take five to ten minutes and disconnect all the devices from the ap and once the scan is done you will see a list of channels and how much each channel is being used select the channel that has the least noise and uh, you can definitely assign different channels to different aps but yeah you want to select the channel that has the least noise and that also you can do very easily from the unify controller here you go into configuration simply here you can select the preferred channel of course auto is the best and the default option but if you are seeing a lot of interference you may want to select a manual channel finally let's talk about signal quality or tx power you want to check the signal quality between the ap and the client device as clients get further away from the ap the signal also gets weaker higher tx power can often get you higher speeds and you can change the tx power for each ap from the unify controller so you do that here say we select a select a device here you can go into configurations and then you go to radios and you can select the transmit power or the tx power if the range of the device is getting on, on 5g is getting very low consider increasing the tx power to high because that will almost likely to increase the speed of the uh, of wi-fi that your ap is giving to your devices so everything mentioned in this video is also available on our help article you can simply say if you are googling unify wi-fi speeds the first article is often the one which uh, is the most helpful one here which is troubleshooting slow wi-fi so everything i've spoken about in this video is actually coming from this article so definitely recommend uh, using this article i will put it in the link also here in our description so you have easy access to it but this is a great article to read before um, you're doing anything when it comes to dealing with slow wi-fi speeds and if you still have problems you can always go to our community community.ui.com that's a great way because it's a forum with users and experts from across the world who can provide suggestions for your networking projects you can also see a lot of stories here that users have posted to see how different projects are being done so for example we actually have a story here from india of a school campus wi-fi network and you can definitely see how this is being done and get some ideas and finally if you still have issues you can always reach out to our 24 7 support team just go to help.ui.com right out here our support team is available 24 7 and you can very easily open a ticket by clicking on this support team box and you can either do it through an email ticket or you can even start a live chat with our team so thank you for joining us today and if you found this helpful subscribe to this uh, channel the ubiquity india channel and also leave a comment below with what other videos you might want to see next thank you and have a great day